Hello. In this video I will do an example of proof by mathematical induction. I'm going to be using the principle of mathematical induction which we introduced in the last video. Here's the statement we're trying to prove. The summation as i goes from 1 to n of 2i minus 1 is equal to n squared. I think it is a good idea on a piece of scratch paper to familiarize yourself with the formula and make sure that it's true for a few values of n. What we're doing here is adding up odd numbers. For example, 1 plus 3 plus 5 is 9, which is 3 squared. Um, I want to move right to the proof, but you might want to pause the video and check out some number values. We always start our proof with the word proof. A math induction proof has three parts, Roman numeral 1, Roman numeral 2, and Roman numeral 3. Roman numeral 1, you establish that P1 is true. This is usually pretty easy. Let's state what P1 is. P1 means that N is 1, so this summation goes from 1 to 1, so we're only going to have one term. Well, what would that mean? It would mean that we have 2 times 1 minus 1 equals 1 squared. Well, let's see if that's true. That's 2 minus 1 equals 1. 1 equals 1. That is a true statement. And I am done with part Roman numeral 1. Now we're part ready for part 2, Roman numeral 2. This is a mini proof a direct proof, in fact, inside the bigger proof. Once again, I've got a mistake here. Hang on. In Roman numeral 2, I'm given that PK is true, statement K is true, and I want to establish that statement PK plus 1 is true. This is the format for all math induction proofs. So let's write down what PK is. K is going into the position of n in our statement. It goes into this n position because this is statement pn. In fact, I might write that here. Hang on. This is statement pn up here. It's the nth statement. So here's statement pk. Now, it's a good idea to have your eye on the prize. Let's write down what we're trying to prove here. Let's write down pk plus 1. Here I've written statement k plus 1. Now k plus 1 is in the end position. So I'm summing from i to k plus 1. And over here I have k plus 1 quantity squared. And you leave some space in between. I'm starting with this given information and I need to massage this using direct reasoning to make this conclusion down here. So let's see how that's done. Well, if we take a look at our left-hand side, our left-hand side is correct except for the very last term. This left-hand side has k terms, and this left-hand side has k plus 1 terms. So I'm going to add the k plus 1 term to both sides of this equation. I think maybe I will write this out. Okay, I have just restated statement k, but I have it written out. Here's the i equals 1 term. Here's the i equals 2 term. Here's the i equals 3 term up through the i equals k term. This has k terms on the left-hand side. This one has k plus 1 terms on the left-hand side. So I'm going to take this statement, and I'm going to add the k plus 1 term to both sides. Okay. So this is a little bit klutzy doing it on the screen here. It's a little bit easier with paper and pencil. But um, here is the k plus 1 term being added on the left-hand side. And because I ran out of room, I added the same term here on the right side of the equal sign. So my left-hand side is all good. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite my left-hand side using the summation notation in the next line. So now I've rewritten the last statement. This is a logical flow here. The left-hand side is good. 
Now I need to fix this right hand side. Now I've always got my eye on the prize down here. Uh, this, this is what I want. So it looks like we need to use the distributive property here. So let's use the distributive property. There's the distributive property and you can probably anticipate the next step. Yes, and you can already see that this is going to work out nicely. All I need to do is factor this right hand side. So now I have factored this right hand side. It is in fact k times k plus 1 and that is exactly what I wanted to prove in part Roman numeral 2. So now that I have completed part Roman numeral 1 and Roman numeral 2, I'm ready to do my conclusion. Roman numeral 3, by the principle of math induction, our statement PN, which says that we have a summation from I equals 1 to N of 2I minus 1 equals N squared. This statement is true for all natural numbers N. In the next video, I am going to prove the formula for the Tower of Hanoi.